Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is UCD Videos. How you guys doing? And today we're taking a look at the Stephanie McMahon figure from the Masters of the WWE Universe toy line. Pretty cool stuff. For those of you who don't know, this is a mashup between Masters of the Universe and WWE superstars, wrestling superstars. So Stephanie McMahon, of course, is the daughter of Vince McMahon, who is the real-life owner of the WWE franchise, and has kind of written himself into the storyline as, like, one of the villains, you know what I mean? So, pretty cool stuff, you know? And, of course, they've mashed her up with Evil Lynn, so she's got the Evil Lynn uh, head, you know, crest there, and uniform vaguely has, like, Evil Lynn kind of accents on it. Pretty cool stuff. Evil billion dollar skull queen. <laughs> All right. And let's take a look at the back. There's some eh, not bad looking artwork there. She used to be daddy's little girl, but now the billion dollar princess has tapped into the chaotic magic within the dark depths of WWE Eternia to become its evil queen. Okay. Not bad at all. Comes with the arm crystal and skull queen mask. And then some other people in the line, Goldberg, which we did a uh, video of last week. Kane, still don't have him. Kind of looks like he's based on Roboto. And of course there's her. And then Ultimate Warrior. This would be the second Ultimate Warrior figure in the line. Not bad, not bad. So let's go ahead and open this thing up here. Get this torn out of the package, you know. Let's liberate her from her uh, package there. Pretty cool stuff. Whoa, comic book just fell right out. All right, you can get a better look at the figure there. There's the head sculpt. Not bad at all. I'm glad that they decided not to make her skin yellow or anything like that. <laughs> it is just normal flesh toned. Okay, and it came with this. Came with this comic book here. Let's take a look at the comic. This is the. Mm, not bad. There's Evil Lynn. There's Triple H up there. Well, I guess it's Stephanie McMahon, not Evil Lynn. The skull of Triple H. I wonder what the story is here. So, is this after Triple H is dead or something? I don't know. There's only this one little page here of the comic. Pretty cool. Like I said last week, I really would have liked it more if these things had more than one page, but I guess it's just there to kind of give, you know, a little hint of the storyline or whatnot. Not bad, not bad. Let's throw that in there. Of course, that is kind of a staple with Masters of the Universe toys, is that they all came with a, you know, uh, like a four to five page comic. And actually the new, the Origins lines, all come with a comic book too. Wow, my scissors are dull. Right. So that would have been kind of cool to get a full little mini comic out of these guys, but the fact that they add one at all, I think is pretty awesome. Not bad. Okay, there's the figure. She's got the same makeup as Evelyn. Oh, her hair's long. Okay, so she actually has longer hair. Um, that doesn't get in the way. This is this is sort of a softer plastic. So yeah, you can you have like a full range of motion there. Oh wow, that fell right out. <laughs> Let's hope that goes back in without any problem. Okay, okay, that's cool. So I guess that was just loose. The the thing about these this line and also with the um, Origins line, MOTU Origins, is that you can take out the parts and swap them and stuff and make your own make your own custom figures. And so they kind of encourage that. So that's why the arms and the legs and the heads and stuff all come off, so. Pretty cool stuff, all right. Let's set her right here. Let's see, will she stand up? Yep, very much so. Very perfectly balanced, that's cool. And let's open up the accessories. All right, so let's see. She comes with, first off, comes with this sort of crystal ball on a staff that is very much inspired by Evil Lynn's weapon. That's cool. And then this skull mask thing. So I'm guessing, I don't know what the storyline is here. Did she like take this from Triple H or something? I think in real life, when it came to uh, wrestling, the storyline was that she marries Triple H or something like that. I'm not really sure. I don't really follow wrestling that much. 
Uh, let's see, and how does this go on here? Does this just clip on? Yep, clips right on on top. Okay, so, yeah, you know, it's more of a mask. It's not really a helmet. You can kind of see it just clips on like that. So, still looks pretty good. You know, I like the sculpt on there. Come on, focus, focus. Well, I think that's the best it's going to get. Not bad, you know. Pretty cool stuff. And then, of course, this is the, uh, oh, wow, it's like made out of bones. <laughs> you see that? So that's kind of cool. So, does this actually fit in her hand? Ah, uh, yeah. Fits pretty well. All right. That's the cool thing about this line and then also the Origins line is that they very much made them with playability in, in mind. You know what I mean? I haven't seen any of these figures yet that are just sort of like display only, you know? They're, they're very much made with the idea that, you know, they can hold their weapons, they can stand up on their own, they can uh, be something that, you know, children can enjoy as well as adult collectors, right? So let's do some comparisons here. This here is an original vintage Evil Lynn figure from 1982, right? And it is, you can see, it doesn't have the articulation or anything, but you can kind of see the, um, let's take the mask off of here. You can kind of see the uh, inspiration. You know, it's got the same helmet, right? There's little accents on the uniform, like on the cod piece or whatever, right? Is it called a cod piece when it's in part of a women's clothing? I don't know. Anyway. So you can definitely see the inspiration there, where they took, you know, the I, you know, the general idea of what this figure's design should be, right? Is she gonna stand up? I don't know. Evil Lynn here might not stand up on her own. <laughs> the old the, the old He-Man figures were kind of hit and miss when it came to that. You know, when it came to balancing issues, sometimes they could, sometimes they couldn't. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about that. Then of course we also have the. Origins Evil Lynn. So this is the same thing but updated. You can see the, you know, you can see it's very much the same design as the classic one, but it has the same articulation as this one. So you can definitely see where they're taking these things from, you know, like I do, I think I actually kind of like this figure more. You know, it's like the accessory looks better. You know, it's got like paint deco on it and stuff like that. Her makeup looks better, you know. I don't know. I think this is a superior figure. <laughs> it's actually like kind of better looking in my opinion so anyway folks pretty cool stuff here i think uh stephanie mcmahon will make a nice addition to the uh display i got going here pretty cool you know i'm not really that big of a fan of wrestling but i really do like these figures i really like the idea that they mashed them up with he-man and they fit right in on the shelf look pretty awesome and I'm pretty sure if that if I was a kid, I wouldn't care either way. <laughs> These would just be extra characters to fight alongside my uh, He-Man toys. So I hope they keep it going, man. I know that there's a lot, a lot of other female uh, WWE superstars that they can make figures from. You know, we don't have a mashup with the Sorceress yet. So, you know, why not give us one of those? That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, folks, that's all I got. Adios.